Hi, this is Nadine with Happy Eating Healthy. Today I'm going to show you a pretty easy bread recipe. It's a French bread or a baguette recipe. To start out with, we got to get the yeast going. So I have one and a fourth cups of water right here. And to that, I'm going to add my one package of dry yeast. And I just, with my finger, I want to stir that around enough that it all gets wet. I'm now going to let that sit for five minutes. So we'll be back after that has sat for five minutes and we'll be ready to make the bread dough. Our yeast has now sat for five minutes. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pour this into a large bowl. To this large bowl, we're going to dump most of this flour. We want to leave about a fourth a cup in, but we want to dump the rest in. Making bread can be a little bit messy. So I'm going to start with that amount. I now want to stir this until it soft dough forms. That way I don't have to get my fingers too messy until we at least get a dough. You'll notice it is starting to form a nice soft dough. We've got all that water absorbed into the flour. Now we're going to take this and we're just going to cover it with the towel and let it sit for 15 minutes. We'll be back to knead this and finish up the making of the bread dough in 15 minutes after that is rested. The dough has rested for 15 minutes. We're now going to turn it out onto a floured breadboard and then we're going to add some salt to it and knead it and try to knead in the rest of the flour. So here's our dough. We're going to flour our breadboard with some of that remaining flour. And this is going to be a little bit sticky because it still needs some flour added to it. We're just going to put that on the breadboard. Put some more flour on it. And now we want to sprinkle our salt on top of this. Now we're going to knead that salt in. And we're going to try to knead some more of the flour. We're going to be kneading this for about six minutes until we can get pretty much all that flour kneaded in and the salt kneaded in and we get a nice elastic dough. Now kneading is a very pushing down with the heel of your hand like this. And you want to keep it moving around. So I'm going to keep kneading this, and if I need to add some more of this flour that I have, I can add more of this flour. And then we'll be back in six minutes or so when this is all kneaded and ready. I have now kneaded this, and you see it's a nice elastic dough, and I've incorporated all of the flour into it. You may not need to incorporate it all. It depends on different factors in the environment. Now, what I want to do is I want to let this rise for till it's doubled in bulk. I'm going to take this big bowl and I want to spray it down a little bit. Then I want to put my dough in there, spray it down, and then just turn it and make sure it's all very well covered. I'm now going to take that towel that I had over it before and cover it. This is now going to raise till double in bulk which will be about 40 minutes depending on how warm your, your house is and the humidity in the air and all that. So we'll be back after this is doubled in bulk in about 40 minutes from now. The dough has now ri risen for about 40 minutes. You'll notice I already poked two fingers in there and the indent indention stayed, so it's ready. So now I'm going to punch down my dough. 
And I'm going to let that rest for five minutes. I've let it rest for five minutes. So now we're going to roll out the bread. So I'm going to take my dough and I want to divide it in half because this is going to make two loaves of bread. And I want each dough to be about the same. Then I've got this breadboard and I just want to put a little bit of flour on it so that the bread doesn't stick. And I'm going to stick one of my loaves right there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this in a rope until it's about 12 inches long, which is about the length of this breadboard before we get to that. So I'm just rolling it out and I do want it to taper just a little bit at the ends. Once I have that like that, I'm just going to stick the bread onto that pan. I'm going to do the same thing with the other loaf. And you just want to keep rolling it back and forth in a rope until it's about 12 inches long. Same as the first one. Again, making sure the ends are just a little bit tapered. And then we're going to stick this also on the pan. What we're going to do here is we're going to just spray the top of this down with the um, canola oil. Before I cover it, I just want to sprinkle some cornmeal over the top of this. You can kind of spread it around like that too. Okay, now that the cornmeal is sprinkled over the top, we're now ready to cover it. And we will be back in 20 minutes after this is raised again to put the slits in it and then stick it in the oven to bake. Our loaves have now rested and raised for another 20 minutes. So here are our two loaves. I'm going to, normally I wouldn't try to do this, but apparently I got them a little bit closer together than I wanted. Notice one's a little bit bigger than the other. Now I'm going to cut three deep diagonal slits in each of our loaves. We're ready now to put this in the oven. It's going to be in a 450 degree oven and it's going to bake for 20 minutes. Now that it's in the oven, we'll have it bake. We'll be back when the timer goes off in 20 minutes. The timer is just about ready to go off on the bread. So let's look at the bread and see if it's done. There's the timer. So let's open up the oven. And there you see our French bread. All we need to do now is let it cool and then we'll be ready to serve it or use it in whatever it is we want to use it with. So here is one of my loaves of the French bread. This would be great to make garlic bread or just serve as a side. Um, I made this one particularly, I'm going to be using it in my French onion soup. Probably also serve some on the side for those who want to have some bread with their soup. One ounce serving of this is only going to be 53 calories. So at that many calories, you can add the garlic spread in that and it will still be a low calorie bread. This is Nadine with Happy Eating Healthy and here's our French bread or baguette. Enjoy and happy eating. Mm -hmm.